FNL Vintage. Retro runway footage. Resurfaced interviews. And style archives. Revisit iconic collections. And celebrities. Fashion seasons past. Welcome to Fashion News Live. I am your host, Rocco. I'm here with a very fashionable and beautiful Leona. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. Congratulations on becoming an American citizen. Thank you. I heard Viva I America. It. I love it. I love it. God bless America. <laughs> Did you see the Statue of Liberty when you came through or no? Of course, they asked me that. The first question really? they asked me to the immigration, they're like, okay, we're in the Statue of Liberty. I'm like, I love America. I love Starbucks. Like, I asked you for the Statue of Liberty, not for the Starbucks. <laughs> it was really funny. So what are you wearing? It's a Balmain dress. It's done only for me so hello oh. everybody thank you <laughs> so tell me about your music i overheard you talking to someone else you were collaborating with and yes i'm doing three songs with timberland i've done three songs with uh, makiba alex Cantral, um and i'd love to work with everybody that has some smashes for me wow <laughs> so when am i going to hear your music drop will it be on itunes or be out to i have my first single out in itunes uh, and then probably the album will be out around november or so beautiful and what's the name of it what's the name of it uh show up it's so a single, awesome. yes. And, it, and what type of music is it? It's a poppy, dancey, club music, whatever you guys hear in the radio, yes. Wow, well, thank you so much for your time. You look stunning. Thank you, you Absolutely. too. How do I say thank you on, on, on uh, Albanese? Thank you. I'm thank American, you. dude. That's I'm right. American. You're American now. Starbucks, American Statue now. Liberty. That's Starbucks. right. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. I am here with a stunning doll face. Your, your dress is beautiful. What, what are you wearing? Cinderella Couture, my own exclusive designer. Cinderella Couture, she only designs for me. She made you look like a Cinderella. Yes, yeah, she did. She also styles for Prince, the artist wow. Prince. So she, picked, she picked two fabulous people. <laughs> so what have you been up to? You're a CEO of your own record label, and then you just had a single come out, and you collaborated with another amazing artist. Actually, it's uh, it's radio, television. I mean, it's it's film, TV, and music. I have a degree oh. in radio, television, and film, so I'm putting them all together. Yes. Wow. And um, so I'm doing music. I have music, the current single, Let's Go to Vegas, featuring Snoop Dogg. And that's doing very well internationally. We um, just got a compilation situation with Universal Music Group in Australia. Um, and um, you can find that video on MTV VH1. It premieres tomorrow on um, Music Choice as well. Um, and then I'm developing a re reality show for um, Roy Jones Jr. for his wow. kids. The boxer, yeah. right? Yeah, the boxer, his kids. Um, and then I have a film project coming out too in the fall. So how do you find time to sleep? Um, you know what? You could never sleep. I mean, I, I may rest a little bit, but I'm never sleeping. I keep that one eye open. I'm always thinking, you know, thinking. But I am, um, you know, this is important, and, you know, I'm definitely one of the sponsors for this event tonight. I came last year, and it was so nice. I just wanted to be a part of it in some way. And Laura Wright, you know, offered me the opportunity, and I accepted. And um, this, you know, this is just really good. I like to give to people and support stuff. I'm a philanthropist this as well. I feed the homeless every Thursday. I've been doing it for almost two years straight. When I lived in Milan, Italy modeling, I would go get food and feed it to different homeless people. And some people didn't want the food. They wanted other things. I was like, hold on, I'm trying to give you food. You know what? Actually, here, these people, they, they're they grateful. They take the food. You know, they don't, you know, they take whatever we give them. But we give them good food. We give them a lot, like vegetables, you know, meat. Um, and then we also give them food to take home as well. So, wow. yeah, that's really good. Doesn't it feel really good to give than you receive. It feels you know amazing. What? I tell people, honestly, I think, you know, I'm doing all these things, the TV and the film and the music and all that. I employ people and I love to keep people working. I love when it's making a difference in somebody else's life. And I think that's why they all say, how can you do all that stuff? It doesn't seem like it's a lot. You know, when you know it's serving a true purpose, it doesn't seem like a lot at all. You know? Thank you so much for your time. You look Thank absolutely you. amazing. Thank you. One you more time. So one time. Like absolutely. We should go play ball sometime. You're tall. I'm tall. But let me ask you, what are you wearing first? Um, I kind of mix and match, man. So the shirt is by Hundreds, the Hundreds. I thought it was pretty cool. The jeans are G-Star. The belt is uh, Gucci, Vintage, and uh, YSL Kicks. And that's about it. Some cool Creed cologne. And there you go, man. So what do you think about the awards tonight? Um, the awards.
watch them. I watch them on TV. They're pretty cool. Yeah, they always they're always cool, man. Now tell me about your music. Are you working on a new album? Um, new album in stores August 23rd. The Red album, co-executive produced by myself, Mars, and Dr. Dre. Um, executive produced by Pharrell Williams from um, NERD. And wow. yeah. All right, what advice would you give to up and coming artists, or how about artists that are inspired by your music? They sit home, they dream one day to be a rapper, they dream one day to be a producer, they dream one day to be involved in the industry. What advice would you give to them? I would say let music be Plan B. Wow. Yeah, it gives. It, it, it takes more than it gives. Damn. Like what? What is it? What? Like I'm a father. I barely get to see my kids sometimes. You know. So there it is. You want somebody to keep it 100? That's what it is. Music ain't all it's wrapped up to be. I am here with a very stylish Kelly G. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. How you doing? I'm doing good. So let me ask you, what are you wearing? Wow, I'm wearing Sean John. I, I come to support my man Diddy. Diddy has always been a friend and a family and, and, and of the network. And you know what? He hooked me up. <laughs> so, so tell me your involvement with the network. You're involved in the video programming. Is that Did yes. I get that right? So uh, yes, my, my involvement is uh, with uh, music overall, music programming. I'm responsible for a program called Music Matters that highlights up and coming talent. Uh, we kicked it off last year at the BT Awards with J. Cole. We continued it throughout the year, uh, pushing artists like Miguel, uh, Marsha Ambrosius, and Big Sean. And then tonight, we had two new artists, Molly Music, uh, which is like this gospel slash rock artist. Um, and then we had Kimberly Nicole, which like Ella Fitzgerald meets Left Eye meets Aretha Franklin. So, so what do you look for when you're, when you're looking at music videos or scouting new artists to put on your programming? Is there something specific that yeah. I'm looking for this? Oh, we looking for something very very special man that's what we're looking for we're looking for just people that we think that are real artists that are writing real music that are playing instruments that we believe that are going to be around for the next 10 or 15 years that's what we're looking for getting away from the overproduced changing the vocals the real deal right. old time the real deal exactly so the music matters was born out of the frustration of you know no disrespect to the ringtone and the dance type of records <laughs> right. but i'm like yo where are the records where people are still singing and people People write and people, you know, play the instruments and, and do more. They're, you know, they're a brand in themselves. So, and then when I started the program, I'm thinking like, wow, it's going to be tough. But I found this, just a, a bunch of these great artists that have movements by themselves. Kimberly Nicole has a movement by herself. Molly Music, amazing movement. And I just want to be able to use my resources and BET to highlight that. And Lonnie, how are you doing? I'm doing great. The BET Awards were great. The whole weekend has been awesome. I'm just having a good time and celebrating great music. Now, I have to ask you first, what are you wearing, man? I love those boots. Check out these boots. I do like those boots. They, 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 it's my tribute to Michael Jackson, actually. You know, he, he liked to do some futuristic, like, walk on the moon type stuff, you know? So, yeah. you know, these boots are... Can you moonwalk? You know, I really can't. I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> but, um, you know, I don't, I'm not sure. You know what? It looks like I have a full leather vest on, right? It does. It does. It's just right there. Ah, I like that. Yeah. Shout out to Ira Duet who dressed me, Notified Music Group. I'm not sure the name of anything, but I said, I like that, I like that, and I like that. And then, you know, Jason of Beverly Hills. Look, check, check out that watch. Look, look, look at that. It's raining a little bit. It's, it's raining a little, just a little bit, yeah. I it's, think it's raining some diamonds. It's raining diamonds. And so, you know, I, I try to get into fashion a little bit and just, you know, look look some kind of good. Now, you just, did an, you just did a record, not a record, you did a, your first single, right? with Kelly Rowland, amazing yeah. person. I've been interviewing her for years at Fashion Week. Yeah. So tell me about that. Tell me how that happened. And well, it's my first single. It's called Favor featuring Kelly Rowland, Lonnie Burrell featuring Kelly Rowland. It's the lead single for my for my album called The Love Train, which is coming in October. But Kelly is such an amazing person. She's so down to earth, the sweetest person in the world. She's beautiful and she's very goofy. She likes to have fun and she's a perfectionist as well. And we've been working together for a long time. And so when I called her for the song, you know, without question, she wanted to hear the record. And when she heard it, she loved it. She said, bro, I'll be in town in two days. She came fresh off the plane straight to the studio. You got favor. You can get on iTunes now. Oh, it's already out? Yeah, it's out now. And radio just started playing it last week. We just shot the video. We're getting ready to re release it real soon. Yeah. And how about the album? When does the album drop? My album, The Love Train, drops in, um, in October. But Kelly's album drops July 26th. So I'm on there as well. Co-wrote a couple records, yeah. And that's probably completely available on iTunes as well. Well, yes, yes, wow. sir. Well, yes, thank sir. 
thank you so much for your time. You look great, man. Thank and you. Um, okay. congratulations on the uh, collaboration with Kelly Rowland. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. What, let me ask you, what are you wearing? You always dress amazing, amazing. I always see you at Fashion Week. So what are you wearing? Okay, this dress is by Carvin. Carvin? I think. Um, and then the shoes are Giuseppe Zanotti. Um, I ended up doing a hair thing that was supposed to be paired with something else. And then I was like, I don't want to wear this. So it, I just had to work it out. No, it looks good. You look great. Oh, thank you. you great. Thank so, you. So what have you been up to? What's going on? Well, I just put a song out last week. Um, it's called Sweet Vendetta. It's on iTunes right now. So go out and support independent artists, please. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then your album. When is your whole album going to come? I'm trying to have something out by hopefully sometime next year, early next year. But we're doing, you know, it's good. With the viral world, it's exactly. like you can do song by song and really get, for me, most importantly, I needed people to be aware that I could sing. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people were like, oh, can she sing? Da da da. In the dolls, when I was in the dolls. So go to iTunes and click preview. And if you like it, please buy it. Absolutely. Now, are we going to see an influence from the Pussycat dolls now into your. It's completely different, actually. Okay, good. It's completely different. Yeah, it's very. It's Ike and Tina Turner 1960s meets Shirley Bassey. It's a, it's, it's a different sound. You love Shirley Bassey? I do too. <laughs> I cannot wait. Big voice. I cannot wait to hear it. Thank you so much for your time. You look stunning. Thank you, thank you. Deanna Taylor, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. What are you wearing? I like your outfit. I like the necklace. Yo, I'm wearing, this is a, actually a friend. Her name is Iggy. I, yeah. This is from Nordstrom. So it's just I, actually a regular. It was actually one of them semi-corsets yeah. that I turned yeah. into a corset. You know, I had to get real creative because I like the way I fit my body. And this is Gita by um, Alexis Pfeiffer. So, you know, I'm very excited. And I love your hair. I love the purple at the yeah, end. Yeah, thank you so much. I just wanted to try something new. So what have you been up to? What's going Going on, film. I mean, everything's been good from working with Kanye to, you know, working with Willow Smith and choreographing and, you know, working with all these different people. I'm finally working on my well, my own music. So I'm really excited about that, getting ready for my video, my movie's out. So I'm pretty excited. And what are we going to see in your music and in your video? In about the next couple of weeks. I want to put out the visual first. And what type of influence are we going to see in that music? Or is that a secret? You can't tell me just yet. Wait and see. You're going to be like, oh you're going to love it, though. You're going to love it, though. I won't disappoint you. What are you wearing? Faith Collection by Faith and Christian Louboutins, of course. Wow. So I ever heard you telling someone else that you got discovered $5 Honda. T tell me a little story really I quick. I was in my Honda Civic CRX in 1990, and I got discovered at a gas station putting $5 in my gas tank. Now, this guy who, who discovered Millie Vanilli, or I should say wrote the songs, girl, you know it's true. Right, right, right. True stories. Well, I love your music and keep up the amazing work. Yes. Esther Baxter, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. You, you, you look absolutely stunning. Can we do a little pan yeah. down? Look, look at this beautiful dress. Am I going to say, I think I, I heard Versace, right? Right. Wow. Well, Donatello is definitely holding down the fort over there in Milan because it, it it is amazing. <laughs> and you're also on the cover of King magazine? Yes. yes. Wow. So have you walked down the street and someone said, oh my God, that's that model that was in the magazine? <laughs> that happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you been doing? What's going on? What's? Um, actually, I'm currently getting ready to shoot my fourth um, film. Um, next month is called Tell Up Reasons Why Men Cheat. Um, the one before that was Video Girl. It was uh, with Making Good and Hey Lita. And I also filmed Just Another Day. This was with Wood Harris and Jamie Hector and Speed Dating. Wow. So do you prefer the acting aspect of the entertainment industry or do you prefer the modeling aspect? Um, What's easier? What's easier? I mean, I would have to stay taking pictures, the modeling aspect of it, because, it, I mean, it's still sort of difficult, but, I mean, it doesn't take as much as film. Right. So, like, with film, you have to, have, you have to perfect your skill. You have to perfect your craft and you have to get up there and work and so it's a little more difficult than actually get up there and taking pictures I mean you just have to be really beautiful you have to work <laughs> out eat right <laughs> exactly but how are you doing feeling great you know just came from the BET Awards and enjoyed the show and everything so I mean just out here showing the festivities so tell me about the music what's happening with the music oh man you know definitely uh, Mr. International uh, only one ride on my album we dropping uh, prior to the summer so all the fans can go on for official date at official 
MiamiFlow.com. Beautiful. And where are you from? Are you from Florida? Oh, yeah, Miami, Florida. I'm from Orlando, Florida. Okay, so gonna... we <laughs> got something in common. That's now. right. That's right. Keep up the good work, man. I love your style. I like all black. I love that, man. So, Absolutely. Thank you. I am here with the very stylish, the style king of Los Angeles, George Mann, and his very beautiful friend, Mara. How are you? Mara, Mara, Mara from Puerto de Gore. So how are you doing tonight? Oh, man, you know, it's funny. I'm glad that Mara called me and said, let's go to this party, because I'm actually, so far, I'm having a great time. The ride here was a good fun. She's singing. There's this song she just introduced. I was rapping. I was rapping. rapping. There's oh. a song she just uh, I wasn't singing. I was rapping. I want to hear you rap. Be clear. But, but on this song in the background was the Mamas and Papas, California Dream. Oh. The song was so good. She's rapping. We're swinging. Having a great time so far. What? Rick Newman, Cali Living. Amazing. So that's put, I'm having a great time, and I've not even got to the party. And it's nice to see you as always. Very nice. I just got back from New York myself. Oh my God, doing the fashion things. Yes, yes. I have to tell you more about it off camera. It's of secret. Course, I'm sure off camera. All the dirty the stuff juice. they can't talk on TV. So what have you been up to? You're involved in production. You have a few shows out. Yeah, and um, we're uh, working hard and hardly working. So uh, you know, we decided to come and party tonight and have a good time and let loose and see what all the cool people do because we're. Not cool. No. We just well, pretend you, you look cool, so you're doing a good job. Yeah, I'm just pretend. Hot, hot. Even my pants are red and hot and fire. Look. Yeah, yeah. I'm here with a very beautiful and sexy JoJo. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Long time no see. I think the last time I saw you was at New York Fashion Week. Yeah, I think I don't know if it was this year or last year, but it's been a minute. Yeah, yeah. So you're out in LA now. To, what, are you, what are you up to? Working on my album. I'm in the studio all the time, writing for myself and other artists, and just acclimating to this life here in LA, which I love. I'm having love the time it. of my Isn't life. The weather amazing. But you can't beat the weather. Yeah, it's not too hot. It's not muggy right. like New York or Boston, so. Now, have you felt an earthquake yet? Yes, I have. I was in the gym when I felt my first earthquake, and, like, the weights, like, shook and fell off the thing. I was Isn't like, that scary? oh, this is, this is awesome. This I, is really? different. I've only been here a couple years, and I felt a couple myself. Yeah, it's crazy. So what are you wearing? I mean, you look really sexy. Thank you so much. I'm wearing Marco Marco, um, and I think this is jewelry by Misha Design, my, my favorite, um, and just kind of switching it up a little bit tonight. Okay, and let's talk about your music. You're with Interscope Records now, right? Yes. So tell me about the inspiration, your album, uh, everything. The album is called Jumping Trains. I describe the sound as pop with anger management problem. It's uh, <laughs> it's kind of like me. I mean, it's it's edgy, it's aggressive. I'm an East Coast girl. It's a very represented uh, represented there, but um, it's also coupled with that feminine vulnerability and sensitivity. And I'm just it's it's an honest record. I really push myself as a vocalist and a songwriter, and it's I'm really excited. I'm really proud. Well, I cannot wait to hear the music. I love it. Keep everything up, and you look Thank amazing. You. Absolutely. You always look good. You came out from Miami. I'm trying. I'm trying. You know, in Miami, it's a lot of pressure. I know. I know. So what are you wearing? Did I hear you say? Yeah, Georgia's Chakra tonight. Yeah. Georgia's Chakra and uh, Jimmy Choo and Lorraine Short's jewelry, of course. So what have you been up to? Tell me what's... Oh, what's gosh. Um, well, it, this week will be my sixth week at having a number one record titled... Congratulations. So excited. And I couldn't have done it without all the wonderful fans and everybody calling and texting and downloading. And you Twitter deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve so it. Everything. So I really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Just very grateful. We just be cool in there. Can you say that, Rock? Hey, we're just be cool in there. <laughs> you know, sometimes I rap in Italian because my cousin's an Italian rapper. We we just be cool in there. All right, let me try it. We just be cool in there. We just be cool in there. Yeah, yeah Rock. Right? Yeah, that's the, that's it, man. So it'll be Rock and Rocco. We'll do our album together. I'll get Lloyd, sweet feature, and Lloyd. He can do the oh, the main yeah. tracks and the, oh, yeah. and the main everything. That's Come on, let's set it, it up. That's the next level. And then right there. uno vota, uno giorno. I don't know, whatever. A friend of my, my cousin's an Italian rapper, and I mess around with him sometimes. But and I want to talk about you and your music, because okay. I'm not that talented with music. I like to listen to it. Okay. Maybe I drink a little bit. I'll, I'll start singing, maybe in the shower. But let's talk about you. You have a new album oh, coming man. out. I don't want to think about you in the no. shower. Man. <laughs> 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 now I got new music. It come out July 5th. Um, Lil Wayne, Andre 3000, Chris Brown, Trey Songs, R. Kelly, Where Carrie. Did you Hills. record that? Right here in Los Angeles. Actually, I did. I did a little bit in Los Angeles, a little bit in Atlanta, where I grew up, and I recorded a track in Vegas at the Palms Casino uh, oh, Studio. I love Atlanta. They yeah. call it Hot Atlanta. Hot Atlanta. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Okay. Right. Home of the big booty strippers. That's right. <laughs> yeah. All right. So tell me about that album, the inspiration. And so I hear you. Well, my inspiration is just the fact that I'm here. You know, I'm here. I'm living it. I'm 25, man. I've, I'm so far from where I started. You know, and uh, I have.
have so far to go that um, I just try to stay humble, man. I, I surround myself with good people. I've changed my crew. You know, I work with Polo to Don. Um, and Interscope is my first release through Interscope Records. Yeah, it's a good record label. The good people over there. Great people. Yeah. Yeah. So I overheard you telling someone else about a car, that your first car, yeah. and your first experience before you got involved in this entertainment industry, this crazy ass it business. Was a piece Man, my first car, it was like, I mean, you wouldn't want your mama to, you wouldn't want to drop your mama off at the hospital if she was in labor in this car, man. I mean, you know, but it was my first car, and I loved it, man. I loved it out of it. So what kind of car do you have now? Oh, I've got a cool car now. I've got a, a Mercedes, man. The uh, CL, what, the 63 or something like that. So you went from that crappy car to the Mercedes? Then. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I went from, um, let me see, uh, grip pliers, <laughs> window roller to everything, just one button. <laughs> Alright, so what are we going to see in the future? What, 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 are you going to get involved in acting? You know, I see a lot of artists now, they, they, they be they they get involved in a lot of different aspects of the business. 50 Cent, singer, right? And then he started out, it was rough. He started making fun of other people. They started battling back and then- I worked with that guy. You know, I got a lot of friends who are actors and, and musicians and um, they give me a lot of advice. I always wanted to act, but you know, I think the important thing is that you focus on one thing at a time. Uh, and so I'm focused on my album, you know, July 5th. And then after the album comes out, after I get off a tour with Lil Wayne, and then maybe I'll, I'll take some auditions. <laughs> Just right. maybe, man. Hey, congratulations on all your success. Thank you. Dion Williams, how are you doing tonight? I'm feeling good, man. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. What, what are you wearing? You got all this bling around your neck, this nice white jacket with the sequins on it. Yeah, this is this is one of my designs uh, from my new clothing line that's coming out called Christian. And uh, so I thought I'll debut one of my blazers to the BET Awards today and my and my jewelry as well, too. So, so far, it's been a good. It's been a good highlight. <laughs> so what did you think about the award show? Oh, man, I thought it was phenomenal. I, I, the, the tribute to Pat LeBay bell was just spectacular and I think it was uh, an honor well deserved and uh, long overdue for Miss uh, for Miss Patty you know she's contributed so much to uh, R&B music and to pop music as well too you know and she's just a beautiful lady I don't know, know why I think you sing too don't you I do sing yeah sure. that's right <laughs> now you don't sing. think you know you're, you're a triple threat or maybe quadruple threat designer singer actor yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, stylist I'm, I think I'm grateful man I'm just trying to do it all man and just do it not do it all but just do it well you know and do that's how you take do. over this country absolutely that's Man, absolutely. So I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about my new album. Um, we get ready to drop my new single back home um, at by the end of this summer.